Let me out. Let me out. Ah. Ah. Did my door handle break? How frustrating. Dang it. Uh, reach outside here. Oh, it's locked. All right, unlock it. Reach out here. Oh. Well, that's a pain in the butt. We're gonna have to fix that. I can't go. Can't go through life uh, rolling down my window to get in my car. Now, luckily. This is one of a thousand videos you could watch on how to do this. So, uh, I'm not going to do anything a whole lot different. Basically, you have a screw over here. You have a screw down here. You have a little, little thing you have to take out right there. Take that screw out. I think those are all 20, uh, T20 Torx. This might be 7 millimeter. I'm not sure. And then there's one screw down in here. Now, your car might have a little rubber cover over that screw. Uh, mine's long gone and missing. So, probably sucked up by the uh, vacuum cleaner at the car wash. So, I'm going to go ahead and take out those four screws. And this panel should come off. We'll take it out of the way. I think there's one more screw and a cable you have to unhook to get this thing to go. So let's see how that goes. All right, go ahead and get this screw out of here. The one on the bottom. All right. Let's leave those right there. Then there's the one in the door handle. I don't have a hook, I just use a flat blade screwdriver, pop it out, and now it's broken. Oh, wow. I don't know. Huh, that should work. Put that right up here in the dash, right where I'm sure I'll lose it. Yeah. That looks like uh, another torque screw. short one. I hide that one in the dirt on the floor over here where I'll never find it again. Alright, so now somehow all of this pops off and you trim ring here. Does that come off separately? Sure, sure. Looks like we need to unplug this guy. up on this little clip right here that popped right off of there so yay now then let's take this junk out of here how does this come off let's pry it from the bottom I have this panel clip remover see if that gets me in here Okay. Not 
digging the crunchy sounds. This is not the right tool. Tighter, we went harder than you think it would be. Oh, yeah. All right, got a bunch of wires down here. Eh, don't worry about that. <sighs> I think that's an eight millimeter bolt I need to remove. Definitely eight millimeter. Out of there, I guess. There it goes. And then right here, just slide that puppy right out of there. Sweet. Take a closer look at this and see what broke. Oh, right here. Okay. So they look to be the same part. Um, this is a Dorman 81702. I bought on Rock Auto. I paid after shipping $40 for it. Now, I'll tell you why I went with this one over the one for $11 on Amazon. Because I am tired of cheap Chinese junk. Okay. All right, so I'm just hooking it back in here and sliding this back in place, or we're just reversing the whole process. Okay. All right. Um, I'm sick of Chinese junk. The Chinese one from Amazon, $11. Uh, no, 4,000 reviews, 10% of them were one star. So that's 40 junk ones, and everybody complained that they broke right away. You know, I kind of believe them. So I went searching on Rock Auto, and I found the, the, their cheap one was $12. But then I saw the Dorman one, which is what I bought here, and... It was $35 plus shipping. So. And then I thought to myself, hey, you know what? I wonder if I could find Dorman on Amazon. Okay? So I went on to Amazon and I looked up the door handle with the Dorman brand and they had it there for, I think, $29, $30, 
it was like five dollars cheaper i could have gotten free shipping so that's my mistake but uh Something I saw really weird on Amazon, I never saw before, at the bottom of the listing, it says, customers kept this product. I thought, well, that's a really strange thing to say. Right below that caption, it said, this item is returned fewer times than other items like this. So... I'm guessing it gets returned less because it lasts longer. Just my guess. Anyways, let's get this thing back together. Kind of feed the wires up through here and then snap this thing in place. Am I forgetting to do something? plug back in here so I think I made the right decision now I could have bought the OEM board uh, version of this for $55 on rock over though and then I told a friend of mine what I did and he said he thought that uh, Dorman actually makes the uh, handles for Ford. I'm not sure that's accurate, but uh, hey, a friend of a friend of mine on YouTube, it must be true. So uh, let's get this thing screwed in here. All right, so this was a pretty simple repair on the 2010 Ford Fusion. This is a real common problem. I was tempted to not make this video because there are so many videos of doing this exact project all over the internet. Chances are you've already found other one so but the main thing I wanted to make this video for was to make you aware of don't buy that cheap Chinese crap spend a few extra dollars and get a good one I will let you know in the future if this thing breaks and I will update this video in the comment section Hey. All right, one broken door handle repaired. Let's give it a try. I'm free. You know, I was thinking it's kind of dangerous to drive around in a door you can't get out of. What if I was in a car crash? I'd really like to be able to open my door. So, good. I am very happy with that. <laughs> All right. So, another short, quick video for you on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you like. Uh, what I've been doing on this channel. Uh, I got a lot more projects coming up. I just got a new carburetor for the Vespa. So I'll be working on that in about a month. So I got a lot going on in my life. But uh, we'll get back to the Vespa and uh, other projects. So 
thanks for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you get notifications. Leave a comment if you think I did something horribly wrong here, or if you think dorming is junk, let me know. Um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.